Hi folks, Sandro here with World Cartoon News and Shenanigans, and today we've got more San Diego Comic-Con stuff to cover, and this time we're talking about Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. So this is going to be a cartoon that's going to be coming to Disney+, Plus and the Disney Channel, which is still alive in America. They did shut down the Disney Channel and a whole bunch of other places in the world uh, as they try and get more people onto the Disney Plus wagon. But uh, yes, it is going, at least in America, to the Disney Channel next year in 2023. So there's all the facts there. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed on that. But let's start talking about Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. The first thing I want to give uh, a, a nice thumbs up to is the logo, because that's a beautiful logo, right? Um, you know, I, I love the design of this. This is fantastic. I don't usually give a shout out to the <laughs> to the people who make the logo of the shows that I talk about, but uh, that's a beautiful logo. I really enjoy it. The other thing you're going to notice about the logo is this little red rectangle right here with the word Marvel in it. And I just got to be honest with you guys. I, I don't, I, I'm not particularly interested in this. I'm getting really sick of these Marvel shows. Like, I like how many more are there? Like, they have like a million characters at this point. I remember back in the day when the MCU was, you know, before Endgame, you would go to the theater, you would watch the movie, and then you would go home, you'd have some time to think about it. Now it's like there's multiple movies per year. You know, ever since Endgame ended, they've, they've really gone bananas. They, like... They went full bananas. This new phase is just crazy. You, it, it feels like it's mandatory to watch all of these shows. This one is probably more of a side thing, but like I like Miss Marvel came out. I have no interest in watching that. I I haven't I haven't seen WandaVision. I haven't seen. My brothers were telling me if you don't watch WandaVision, you know when you go see Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, a lot of things might not make sense and. It's just like I have to watch all these shows now and then watch the movies and then, like, God only knows. Are the cartoons going to be canon? <laughs> you know? uh, are, the, are we going to have to watch – are we going to have to play video games to get canon info? You know, Are we going to go back to the comic books? Are those going to be canon again? Um, so I think that, like, Disney just wants to just go bananas and conjoin everything together. I, I just – I don't – I know this is a separate thing. But, like, I'm just getting sick of these Disney shows. I've given some of them a chance. Like, I did watch the series uh, Big Hero – what was that? Big Hero 6, uh, the ser the cartoon, sorry, the series. Um, this show here. I watched it. I thought it was so generic, so boring. The personalities of the characters really – uh, didn't live up to what they were in the movie, I felt like. right In the movie, they were much well more well-rounded characters. Big Hero 6, the cartoon. Sometimes the animation was pretty solid, right? Other times, I was just like, wow, this animation is god-awful. <coughs> oh my god, sorry guys, I'm just still sick, recovering from a sickness. Um, possibly a cold or a flu. But uh, here's a great example, like, what the fuck is this, you know? <laughs> Like, holy Jesus. Uh, Hero just looks like uh, on drugs here. Like, what in the world is going on? Like I said, the background looks beautiful. That's a nice, uh, pretty looking school there. But the characters themselves, good God, man. Good God. Um, I felt the animation was very uh, lackluster in a lot of scenes, for sure. And this was supposed to be a bit of an action show. So, you know, whenever you do an action show, the budget has to be there for the action and I ended up dropping this show after like 10 episodes, maybe the first season I think I dropped it. I can't remember. But um, I never came back for more. I just thought it was awful. And I it's I talk to you guys a lot of times in my live streams. I do live streams every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Unless I'm sick, which is what happened this week. But uh, And then I did it on Wednesday. Um, usually I talk to you guys and... We've talked a number of times about Big Hero 6, the animated series here, and many of you guys also told me you dropped the show after watching just a few episodes. You thought, it like, it sounds amazing, right? It's like Big Hero 6, I love that movie. Maybe the animated show is going to capture that quality, and it really doesn't. So, um, I gotta say, like, I'm not the most hype for this whole 
uh, <laughs> Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur shtick here. Uh, just not very hyped for it. And it, it does feature a very young girl. This is not Big Hero 6. It, it was a group of, you know, you had Hero who was a bit younger, but the rest of the team was definitely like older. So I felt like when I watched that show, I could jump in. I would find the characters relatable. I don't really find this like it, it's definitely a show aimed at younger girls. That's what I get the feeling here. And uh, we do have a trailer. So we're going to watch the trailer and see if uh, uh, my hunch is correct here. But um, I I just think like I'm not really excited for Marvel anymore. Or, or is that do you guys feel the same way? Maybe it's just me. I'm just not really excited for any, like projects like this. And I do want to give this one uh, at least a thumbs up for having better animation than uh, Big Hero 6 over there, which had some very dog shit animation. <laughs> no, no, no. Every now and again, Big Hero 6 did have like maybe one episode that was pretty solid. But like for every one solid one, there was like 10. Ugh, <laughs> you know? uh, so, yeah, I wasn't the biggest fan of the animation. And uh, honestly, the whole show of Big Hero 6. Uh, dropped it pretty quick. I th I don't even know if I made it to the f first full season finish uh, or not. I can't even remember. That's a, I, I don't care about that show. That's basically it. I, I thought the show was so bad, I just dropped it and never looked back. But um, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, I did predict this show would be made. How did I predict this? I heard many, many years ago. So there's something called Scholastic Book Fair. If you guys live in a different country, I think 90% of my subscribers are American. Uh, so yeah, most of my, my subs are American and Canadian. And uh, I will definitely tell you, we have this thing called Scholastic Book Fairs, right? It's been decades since I've been to one of these, my God. Uh, but back when I was a kid, they would rent out the whole library, you know, and they would sell books, right? They would tell their parents, like, the, the Scholastic Book Fair is going to go on for, like, I don't know, a full week or, or was it a weekend or what? I, I can't remember. Uh, it goes on for a couple of days and your parents would get you like 15 bucks and you'd be like, go buy a couple books. I remember when I was very, very young, the books were much cheaper, but like, my God, towards the end when I was like before high school, right? When I was like in grade eight, I remember my mom gave me like, you know, the same old, same old, like 15 bucks and I... I couldn't even buy one book. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> the price, the price of books really went up there, man. I don't know what happened. And God, I wonder what the price of these books are now. Uh, I did check on Amazon. So this is a graphic novel. This is where the whole thing was based off of. It was very, very popular from with school children from what I hear, which is why it got made. Um, now, was it as popular as something like Dog Man? You know, not really, no. But uh, it, I still heard a lot of stuff about this being a very popular one a couple of years ago. And uh, I did look it up on Amazon and you could get it for about 23, uh, seven, or sorry, what is this? 2373 Canadian, uh, which like I said, you know, 15 bucks. <laughs> you, you, are, you're, you just can't get one book for 15 bucks anymore. If you want a hardcover book, Jesus. Uh, or this is just the paperback, not even the hardcover. Um, so yeah, the price of books has really gone up there. I don't know what's going on. Is it the printer ink? What's the, what's the costly thing? The trees? Uh, you guys let me know. I'm not like a book master out here. I don't know what's going on, but, um, things have really taken a turn for the book industry. <laughs> oh my God. Well, more, more like every industry we have inflation everywhere now. It's, it's just awful. But, um, oh, there's a fruit fly. Get out of here. You. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to watch this uh, tr uh, trailer here. And one last thing I do want to mention in the original graphic novel and uh, some of the, is this a graphic novel too? Or is that a comic book? Um, I, I don't know exactly if this is a comic or a graphic novel. We see now this is a, an awful iteration of moon girl. Why does she look like Urkel? <laughs> Did I do that? <laughs> you know, look at her there. Oh my God. Can we get a zoom up of that face? Uh, no, I guess we can't. Another Amazon thing. Okay. Um, no, we're gonna get, we're gonna close out of that. But uh, in some iterations of her, she like I, I think this probably has to be one of her better iterations. They made her much more expressive, and um, yeah, thank God they didn't go with the Urkel design. <laughs> but I do have to give them credit because this this devil dinosaur here in like the graphic novels. 
it's just red. You know, like it's there's nothing very devilish about it. Now look what they did for the cartoon. That looks like a devil dinosaur, right? Absolutely. I, I love the you know the horns. It, it just look. Um, it, interestingly enough, this one looks more female. The devil dinosaur looks female here. Maybe that's just um, I don't know. That's the the vibe I get. Uh, same here, right? Doesn't that look more female? Uh, but for the series here, they went for it looks very manly. Uh, it looks very you know ferocious. I love this design way more than what they did in the original graphic novel. So uh, that's that. Let's watch this damn trailer and call it a night, boys. Uh, here we go. Uh, and I do, this is uh, Marvel HQ. I don't know if this is an official Disney thing. Maybe it is. 1.84 million. Um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure but, uh, if this is an official Marvel YouTube channel. But um, two th 22,000 and this came out yesterday. It's not the worst. It's definitely not the worst. Uh, so let's restart this and have a go here. Electrical lady. That that kind of looked like okay. So they're mentioning beating a, some kind of electrical lady. Uh, that re, that character design right there reminds me of like Livewire from like Superman. You know that villain like Livewire. Let's see if we can find one. Uh, Livewire Superman. Right. That's like a Superman villain. Uh, yeah, yeah. Doesn't that remind you? <laughs> Livewire. There she is. She kind of has that kind of vibe of what they got going on here. Uh, very interesting. So there you go. There's Livewire making a cameo. Uh, it's probably not her. It's probably some, I, I don't know a lot of the Marvel, like female villains. Um, I, I have no clue. You guys are going to let me know in the comments. You guys always tell me these kinds of things. Whenever I give you guys a question like this, uh, which villain is she talking about here? Okay. So uh, again, the animation from what I've seen so far. Uh, she is very expressive in her goggles, which is something I wasn't expecting. Uh, you can see here she has a question mark. So that's how they're going to make her more expressive in this cartoon. Uh, and I do like that. I do like that. That's a nice stylistic choice there. But I will say, hands down, even just from these few seconds, this is already looking way better. <laughs> Big Hero 6 looks like dog shit compared to this one. Jesus. So they must have had uh, some pretty decent animation budget on this one. Uh, I'm even getting a bit of a Kid Cosmic vibe. Anybody else getting a Kid Cosmic vibe on this one? Uh, on the art style? Uh, especially the hair there, right? Oh my god, these fruit flies. Get out of here. Where do they come from? I don't know. But, um, oh, and, there, and there it goes again. Jeez. <laughs> I wonder if you guys are able to see it. Uh, did I get that? No. Nah. Uh, oh boy, it's in my, it's in my like microphone zone. Get out of here. All right. Back to the trailer at hand. God, it's just extending this video's length. Let's go. I forgot what I was saying. I was saying something and I lost it because of that dumb fruit fly. Um, there she goes with the goggles again. Uh, we got some muscular. Is this Captain America? I, d I don't know. But, uh, it looks way better than big hero six. That's what I think I was saying. Okay, so we got some robbers here. Let's just say I might have put a sweet surprise inside of my security system. Okay. We got a die pack. It seemed like she uh, she has a die pack. Is that what that was? <laughs> she covered them in blue while they were robbing. Yeah, so she, Moon Girl just has her own die packs for some reason. All right. What do we do? What do we do? Uh, Raycon. Who is this character, though? I don't reckon. I, I, I don't know the Moon Girl mythos. I don't know. Is this like her best friend or something? Uh, I don't know. You captured all in Rita? Yeah. Is that what she yeah, called it? Hey, so, totally unrelated, but my hands are shaking. Oh, my everything is shaking. But my grandma once told me bravery is what you do when you're flat out scared. Uh, okay. People are the best. I know my grandma's so cute. Okay, let's do this. All right. Uh, stop right there. What is that? Jimmy's? What, what, what did that say? Jimmy something back there. Jimmy's Jim? Is that what that says? Oh my god, Jimmy's Jim. Interesting. Right there. And you are. All you need to know is I'm a superhero. My turf's the LES, and you're a mess. The Les? <laughs> is that short for lesbian? Like what the fuck? Look, if you don't take yourself seriously, no one else will. But that's what I said. 
Sorry. Can't uh, see. Sorry. She doesn't have... Okay, so she hasn't called in. This must be the first episode. So she doesn't establish herself as Moon Girl yet. Very interesting. Well, I bet my friend will make you take me seriously. All right. Ooh, the gym guy. Devil dinosaur. <laughs> Jimmy's gym. Wow, they actually referenced it. Wow, okay. Ew. Gross. Okay, um, yeah, definitely loving the expressiveness of the dinosaur. That's good. Yeah, so, uh, we're gonna go ahead and leave now. Huh. Wait, was that... What the hell? Was that the Sonic? I just swear to God I heard the Sonic sound effect. <laughs> what the heck? Is that even legal? No, I think it just... It just kind of vaguely sounded like the Sonic sound effect. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if that's legal. Uh, I mean, it was a very small clip. Surely it was uh, legal. But uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting they see a Sonic the Hedgehog reference there. Interesting stuff. And I... Okay, this is something I'm just really sick of. Really, really sick. A lot of these Disney shows... I get they have to appeal to the children. But like... They spend way too much time, much like the real children in real life. They spend a little bit too much time on their phones, right? Like uh, you're trying to watch a show with an exciting plot. And here's just this girl playing on her goddamn phone all day. It's like, uh, come on, do a different character trait for the love of God. Like it was cool when they did it back in when Kim Possible's days, right? Like, uh, cell phones were the newest thing on the street. You know what I'm saying? Like. The kid, not every kid in the class had a cell phone, right? Oh, most of the kids that were more middle class or upper class had cell phones. Some of the kids that were poor definitely did not have cell phones at all. And um, I guess some people's parents just didn't want them to have a cell phone anyway. So that's when I was a kid. I grew up in the, I'm, I'm, I'm born 1993. So I grew up, right, uh, around the early 2000s is when we really started to see the cell phones take place. But, um, you know, back in those days, we had flip phones. <laughs> um, so Kim Possible, I remember Kim Possible being like one of the first big Disney shows, right? Even stuff like Hannah Montana, you started to see the phones creeping up a little bit in there too. Um, but like now it's just overkill. Now it's like, it's no longer the new thing. It's like every show has to have cell phones full blast. It's like, come on. Good luck with all the superheroing. <laughs> I like that the villains got away. Hey, my phone is fine. Oh God. Yeah, if I end up watching this show, I, I could tell I'm not gonna like this character. Enough with this. Even even in the ghost and Molly McGee, there's that character like Andrea, 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 whatever. Uh it's just like, please stop it with the phones, Disney. But I'm definitely deleting this video. Oh my god. Yeah, so the logo is beautiful. The logo is beautiful. I, I'm not convinced. This trailer did not convince me to watch the show, like, by any stretch of the imagination. Again, really sick of Marvel. Just really sick of Marvel. And um, I want to know all your guys' thoughts. I'm sorry this video ended up going so long. I blame the fruit fly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's all my thought. I had a lot of thoughts here. This is an 18-minute long video. I can't wait to hear those comments down below. Uh, so let me know, will you guys be watching Moon Girl? Are you, are you giving this one a pass? Because there's a lot of cartoons that are coming up that are pretty solid. I personally, uh, never mind Marvel. You know, Harley Quinn is coming out. That's I like the show enough to watch it. Kite Man, even Harley Quinn is getting a spinoff where Kite Man is getting his own show. Uh, so I'm definitely, I love Kite Man. I'm going to watch that show for sure. And uh, But the show everybody's really waiting for is Batman Cape Crusader. That's the real superhero show I want to see. Oh, yeah, man. There's also this, like, garbage-looking uh, Superman. I, I mentioned it before. It's like they made Jimmy Olsen black again. They keep doing this in a lot of iterations. Jimmy Olsen's black now. Uh, you know, Superman looks just like a soy boy with a sweater on. It's like, and then you had Lois Lane, which looks kind of like, um, you know, she looks like the main character from the owl house it's it's really weird it's really weird uh lois lane just like did not look like lois lane uh jimmy olsen didn't really look like jimmy olsen and superman he looked like superman or clark kent but a just a soft unmanly version of him 
So yeah, I, I wasn't the biggest uh, on that kind of thing there on the Superman show. Uh, maybe I'll give it a watch. I, I don't know. But Batman the Cape Crusader, that's where it's at. So that's where I'm going to end the video. Can't wait to read all those comments on all the various things I touched on. Uh, please like, please share, please subscribe. And why not watch an advertisement for your boy Sandro? Thank you guys so much. Peace out. Bye-bye.